Hey guys, Warcraft here. Um, I'm just here to tell you about Parax. No, not Parax. Power Sword stuffs. So this is the guy I'm working on. He's my Space Marine commander. One of those guys. I can't fit in the whole box on that. Space Marine commander. If you can turn that, I'll try and zoom in on um, and uh, he's a guy I'm working on at the moment. I'm mainly Blood Angels. I just need to do scripts on the um, purity seals, the flag, and possibly a couple more highlights, and then just go over the and the eyes and scores and stuff. Anyway, and the angel and the not angel, you know the thing in the middle. I don't know what it's called, but. I'm just going to show you guys this power sword that I painted on him. Um, as you can see, it goes from a dark blue to a lighter blue. And sadly, I can't actually show you. I've attempted to record this and it's failed a lot of the times. Um, but this, so what you need to do is with this power axe, which I'm going to do next time, show you how to do power axes. Um, I primed it black. Um, um, well, it depends what colour. Say if you're doing green, you're probably going to start Thraka green. Or Narlock. No, not Thraka. Narlock green. I'm not sure what the name for that is now, because I've changed all the paints around. Um, yeah, so you're probably going to base coat in Narlock green for if you're doing green. So you still want to do black. And for red, you'll probably base coat in mech right, depending on how bright you want to go. Um, so it towards the end so yeah you base coat just like this so prime black base coat um, cantor blue which is regal blue if you go by the old paints and this is what it should look like something about halfway so we've got a very mild not very visible yeah this size is a bit better but as you can see on this it's it, you can see it changes to it. You can't see it very well this camera, I'm sorry about that guys. Um with the very small changes up here and down here. But yeah. So you just want to mix your dark so yeah. Prime black, base coat in um if you want to do blue, it will be regal blue or cantal blue. If it's green it'll probably be Narlock and if it's um um, and if it's red, it will probably be mech right. This is all depending on how bright it wants to go. Um, but yeah. So, I'm only doing blue because that's the only colours I've got for it. I only have one green and two reds and an orange. So I could probably show you a red one. Or maybe the lightning claws. Possibly. I'm not sure. Um... Anyway, yeah, so, you just want to, for the blue, um, you just want to, basically, so this, um, yeah, and then you just mix um, Ultramarines Blue with Regal Blue, and just keep doing that until you go to Pure Ultramarines Blue, and then you get some Ice Blue, or Enchanted Blue, depending on what sort of blend you want to go for. So if you want a very easy blend, like really, really easy, and quite a long one like it takes a lot of colors to get to the shade you want then you want to use enchanted blue with the ultramarines blue but like me when it's quite short blend around this part uh, that's that's the very sudden change you want to go straight to ice blue and if you use enchanted blue then it's enchanted mixed with ice blue and then unless and yeah and then you can mix the ice blue with white scar or skull white Put the ice blue the right way around, even though it is, and it's just a sticker. Yep, so you mix those together. Um, but unless you want to put lightning on, which I will also do a tutorial on, you do not put white at the end. Do not. Because that is not, it's not going to be the colour of the lightning, but that means the lightning will not stand out. The lightning will not stand out at all if you put white at the end. 
I mean, yeah, it will stand out on this sort of area, but it won't stand out here, and you won't really be able to see it very well. So, yeah. Mm. And yeah, I will be showing you how to do a power axe, because that doesn't... Where is it gone? Oh, it's here. That doesn't go up like that. That sort of goes sideways. So if you put it like that, now it goes up towards the edge of the blade where it's like pointy. I guess. I don't know. But yeah, power axes are more difficult because it's not just a straight line like it is on power swords. And then later on, um, if I can find a sprue with it, there we go, I will be able to show you how to do a uh, lightning claw. But this one, one minute. Now I can't actually. There we go. Sorry, <laughs> guys. It's my sister's camera. Uh, because at the moment I've got Flip Me New HD, which I don't know how to convert the files into WMV. Well, I've tried, but it's not working for some reason. But anyway, yeah. So, what you want to do? No. Yeah, I will also do. <laughs> Sorry, I'll do a tutorial on the uh, lightning claws. This red pot which has been an experiment that I need to also do on this power fist. Um but yeah so for a power sword just blend it upwards into a bright blue and unless you want to put lightning on put white at the end but if you do want to put lightning on don't okay good um, that's Warcraft signing off and I'll see you in the battlefield